Let's get right into it. Number 6. The Placebo Superpower Imagine popping a sugar pill and suddenly feeling like your bones have been upgraded to titanium. Your brain loves drama so much that it can straight up invent healing when the treatment is literally flavored chalk. And here's the twist that people still refuse to wrap their minds around. The placebo effect works even when you know it's a placebo. You can look a doctor in the face as they say, hey, this is fake, take it anyway, and your body will still be like, ah, yes, medicine. Inside your skull is a 1.3 kilogram hype man who desperately wants you to believe you're okay, so it floods your system with endorphins, reduces pain perception, and sometimes even boosts immune responses. It's like having a built-in motivational speaker who occasionally lies but does it for your own good. And the best part? Your body never seems embarrassed about falling for the same trick over and over. People hate believing this because it feels like admitting your brain is a gullible toddler with access to your bloodstream. But the science is clear. Belief can literally change physiology. So, the next time someone tells you, it's all in your head, feel free to respond with, yeah, that's where the magic happens. Number 5. Birds are dinosaurs. Thanks for watching. You might be calmly watching a pigeon peck at a stale french fry, unaware that you're witnessing the last surviving lineage of the dinosaur empire, casually committing carb-based crimes in the parking lot. This is a real fact, a scientifically proven thing and somehow people still treat it like a goofy conspiracy theory your uncle would rant about at 2 a.m. Birds aren't related to dinosaurs. They are dinosaurs. They are the scaly, feathery, big ego descendants of the ones that used to stomp the planet. Chickens? Direct lineage? Ostriches? Basically, a velociraptor who lost a bet. Even that smug duck at the park is technically a tiny, quacking T-Rex with bread dependency issues. The funny part is that our brains revolt against this fact because birds just feel too soft, too whimsical, too grandma's backyard. It's like someone telling you that unicorns are real but they evolved into goats. Yet for paleontologists, this is old news, the evidence is overwhelming. Skeleton structure, feathers, bone air sacs, nesting behavior, the receipts are endless. So the next time you see a seagull steal someone's lunch, remember, you just got robbed by a miniature dinosaur with zero moral compass. Number 4. Your memory is lying. Picture this. You confidently tell a story about that one chaotic vacation incident. The scooter, the seagull, the unfortunate gelato accident only for someone who was there to say, that's not how it happened. And your brain, offended, immediately goes, yes it is. But here's the uncomfortable truth most people still reject. Your memory is not a recording. It's a remix session, a creative reinterpretation, a director's cut with bonus scenes that never existed. Your brain doesn't store files. It stores vibes scattered sensory crumbs that it later stitches together like a sleep-deprived intern working with half-corrupted footage. Every time you remember something, you're not revisiting the memory, you're rewriting it, editing it, sometimes improving it, sometimes butchering it. It's why two siblings can remember the exact same childhood but swear they grew up on different planets. People hate accepting this because it feels like admitting you can't trust your own mind. But humans have always been like this. Psychologists even have a cute term for it, memory reconsolidation, which is a fancy way of saying, your brain is making stuff up again. So the next time you argue over whether the shirt was blue or green, just know, you're both wrong but confidently. Number 3. Animals know when you're lying. You ever try to trick a dog, like pretending you don't have food when you absolutely do? Dogs can read you like a children's picture book. They know your micro-expressions, your hesitation, your subtle body cues. Some animals can even detect stress hormones, which means your pet can literally smell your guilt. This is one of those scientific findings people still shrug off, because humans love to believe they're the ultimate detectives in any situation. Meanwhile, your cat watches you like, you think I don't know you ate without me. Amateur. Studies show that many animals are absurdly good at reading human behavior. Not just pets, even horses can tell when you're anxious, and birds pick up on emotional tone. Your body leaks information constantly, but because animals don't bother with social niceties, they pick up on it instantly. They're not burdened by politeness. A dog won't pretend you're fine when you're clearly spiraling. It's not magic, it's evolution. Animals learn to monitor us for safety and survival, and we never evolve the ability to hide our inner chaos. So yes, your pet knows when you're lying. And no. They are not impressed. Number 2. Time moves differently in your brain. You know that feeling when a 10-minute wait feels like an hour, 
but a three-hour doom scroll session feels like 30 seconds? Congratulations, your brain is terrible at time. It's not even trying. Time perception in humans is basically a mood ring with delusions of competence. When things are new or intense danger, excitement, embarrassment, your brain records more information per second. More data equals richer memory equals, wow, that felt long. But when you're bored or stuck in a routine, your brain stops taking detailed notes. It's like a lazy accountant stamping everything with the same date. Days blur, weeks evaporate, and suddenly it's next year and you still haven't fixed that thing you said you'd fix last March. People resist this idea because it feels creepy. If your brain can't measure time correctly, what else is it casually messing up? The answer, a lot, but time is the most obvious. That's why childhood summers felt endless, but adult summers feel like three warm Tuesdays. Basically, your brain is less of a clock and more of a distracted intern who keeps glancing at the wall calendar and going, huh, already? Number one, your gut has a mind of its own. Imagine having a roommate who lives inside your torso, never pays rent, eats whatever you eat, and yet somehow has the power to influence your emotions, decisions, and even your personality. Congratulations, that's your gut. And the wild part? Science has been yelling for years that your digestive system is basically running a secret side government beneath your lungs, but most people still treat it like a glorified food tube. Your gut contains around 500 million neurons, yes, neurons the same stuff your brain uses to overthink text messages. It's called the enteric nervous system, often nicknamed the second brain, and it's so independent it can operate without permission from the main brain upstairs. When you say, I have a bad feeling about this, that's not poetry. That's your gut literally sending a memo. On top of that, the trillions of bacteria living down there create chemicals that influence mood, stress response, cravings, and even risk-taking. Your microbiome is basically a microscopic crowd of hype men, critics, and emotional consultants. And yet people still act shocked that anxiety can cause stomach issues or that certain foods affect mental health. It's like discovering your car engine is connected to your Spotify playlist and going, wow, that seems fake. The truth is simple but unsettling. You're not alone inside your own body. You are a biological group project, and your gut has very strong opinions. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.